Hi, this is Dr. Charlie Peterson. I'm the author of Dude, Where's My Profit? Today I want to talk about financial statements. Financial statements are the numbers organized uh, into certain formats that people in business use for making decisions. Essentially, there are four main financial statements. The income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement, and a statement of owner's equity. Today I want to talk about the income statement and the balance sheet. So let's get financial statement up here. And I'm going to position the balance sheet here. and the income statement here. Let's start with the income statement first. The income statement shows profitability over time. It spans the complete accounting cycle, whether it's a day, a week, or a year, showing profitability over time. Think of it as a movie. A movie has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now the income statement consists of two of the five general categories of accounts. Revenue. Minus my expense. equals my net income. Revenue represents what you earned in the business during your cycle, whether it's a day, a month, or a year. Expense is what you used up in order to earn that revenue. And what's left over is your net income. Another word for net income is profit, and sometimes earnings. I'm going to be sticking with the term uh, net income because it's the more commonly used uh, financial statement in business today. Now let's assume that you have your taxi company and you collect fares during your first week of operation of $1,000. That becomes your revenue. Let's assume that during the week you used up um, $800 worth of gas and oil, the driver's time, insurance, and on and on it goes. When we subtract those two, we come down to $200, which is the profit which belongs to the owner. Revenue minus expense is equal to your net income. There's your profit. Your balance sheet, on the other hand, shows what you use in the business and who owns what you use. Shows what you use in the business and shows who owns what we use. Now the balance sheet consists of the remaining three general categories of accounts, asset equals liability plus owner's equity. Now the balance sheet is for a point in time. Let's assume that um, you're at the end of your accounting period, you would prepare your, your balance sheet to reflect uh, the amount of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity you have. 
I like to think of this as a snapshot. Where the income is a movie because it's for a period of time, the balance sheet is a snapshot because it's a point in time. Now let's take an example here. Let's assume that let's assume that you decide you want to buy a building for your business that you're going to rent and and that's what you're going to basically be a rental person. Okay, let's assume that the building costs one hundred thousand dollars. Now, obviously, most people do not have the $100,000 in their bank account, so you go to the bank and you borrow $80,000. This is called a mortgage. Now, in order to complete the deal, you've got to put in $20,000 for your down payment of your own money. So you can see that the building here is jointly owned between you and the bank. And if you're concerned about that, uh, just stop making a payment and you'll lose your, your building. One of the unique features of this is that even though the asset is worth $100,000, you can use it with an investment of $20,000. Right? So these are the two financial statements, the income statement and the balance sheet. The income statement shows profitability over time, it's like a movie. The balance sheet shows what you use and who owns what you use, it's like a snapshot. Thank you very much for listening.